It's like you low IQ anime watchers. It's like you guys think I'm asking you, is this a good anime? Oh, let's discuss. Is this a good anime, man? Is it as bad as I'm saying? No, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's I'm telling you because his opinion is definite. His opinion is the answer. This guy's opinion is the standard. If he thinks it's ass, it's not a conversation. It's a statement. That's what he's telling y'all, dumb niggas. That's what he's telling y'all. All right, YouTube. We got the dangers in my heart is trash. Now, I don't know what it's, what is like. Recently, there's just been a lot of just hate on romance. Like, I feel like this is like the fourth or fifth romance video that I've seen in the last month. And it's just like. The problem, the problem that I'm having with most of these problems is, like, romance is just not the genre for you, bro. And it's okay. Like, not every genre is for everyone. But to sit here and to have a whole video that's saying that this anime is trash, it's like, come on. So, I'm not going to judge this video before I watch it. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what you're talking about, Matt. King Matt. A few things guaranteed in life, guys. Death taxes and a complete dog shit anime trending for any given season guys and for this season it comes in the form of none other than the dangers in my heart i mean this anime is absolutely disgusting and we're gonna get into fact spitting shortly but just understand that this essentially comes down to another sim storyline and rest assured guys any given season these fat fucking pigs will line up at the trough full of slop to consume and consume and consume. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, can you guys stop consuming for five goddamn minutes? Fuck. Th these people make me sick, bro. Yet another anime has come out focused on a simp storyline. I mean, what type of degenerate do you have to be to like this shit? Uh, this is, I can already tell what type of video this is going to be. All right. So we could do this all day right we could do this all day every single an every single season there's an anime where there's only action and people love it we just had jjk we get in solo leveling and ninja kamoi i'm seeing nothing but good things about ninja kamoi right there is it's one it's a one dimensional story is it good yes but if you don't like that thing if you don't like a just pure action show then you could say the same thing for these if you don't like a romance of course every season there's gonna be a romance it's a whole genre that people like you you just calling people weird or whatever you just said because people like romance well that is the most shallow take i ever heard in my life calling people degenerates because they like to see a romance they like to see romance unfold that's a crazy that's just crazy bro to put it simply this is an anime for losers and if you like it you're a loser okay mm. this anime is just full of cringy moments terrible writing plot convenience and just garbage shonen romance comedy school yeah okay he just called it shonen romance comedy school There's, there's really not. We're only a minute in this video, and you already, you already said enough. I already gonna know how stupid this video is gonna be. Type slop, bro. How many times are we gonna see shit like this be trending? This is why I say this industry is in the shape that it is. It's in shambles because of people that like this garbage. Yeah, anime. The anime community is in shambles because people like romance. Yeah, bro. T tell us about it tell us about when it. animes like these uh, this is what gets hyped up i mean guys this is what i mean th this it's at an all-time low this is at an all-time low and these you know what uh, let's see let's see what he said what, what does he mean by hyped up let's see I, I i really need to know how hype dangerous in my heart is bro because the first season it came out i literally didn't even hear shit about dangers in my heart only reason i know is because i watched it Okay, people just like it. 8.24 first season, 8.81. I mean, it only has 121,000 members. 1,700 in popularity. You know what this is? This is just people who like romance liking a show. What, like, how is this? This is not, 
this is not, you're losing me, bro. It's casual want to sit here and, you know, they, they want to flock with the other sheep to suck it off because they think it makes them cool. It's absolutely disgusting. Imagine, imagine being like that. Imagine having no independent thought. Imagine having no higher order thinking skills, man. I mean, that's crazy. That could never. Yeah, you, you might have had a good point if this show came out and it was doing some Oshinoko shit. Like everywhere you looked, people were talking about it. You would have had a fantastic point. If the first episode would have came out and people were talking about it, how they were talking about Oshino Ko, then brilliant. You you might have had a great video up your up ahead. But Dangers in My Heart is on the second season. The only people hyping it up are the people who watched the first one, which you just seen. It only got 120,000 members on my anime list. That's that's literally hardly anything. What are we talking about? <laughs> this is insanity to me. Me, but. I wanted to drop this shit so fast, bro. This anime was terrible, but you know, in order to make this objective video, I had to keep going, bro. I just had to. It was like crawling. Bro, it's not objective if you don't like the genre. Oh my goodness, you niggas are actually stupid. <laughs> I had to keep watching to, to make this objective video. Nigga, you are not seeing the show objectively. You don't like romance. There is nothing objective about what you're saying. You're, you're calling a whole show trash because you don't like the genre. It's clear. You're you're complaining about things that all rom all romances do. Yet yeah, romances are a simp story. That's romance in general. When you go meet a girl in real life, that's a simp story, brother. People who get married, those are simp stories. What are we talking about? That's just romance. Through a pipeline of shit, a mile long pipeline of shit, man. It was atrocious. It was horrible. It's psychological torture. They could use this as fucking torture for those prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. I mean, just to understand, guys, I watched this shit, so you don't have to. And I'm not even talking about the second season, bro. This first season is what I, I, I couldn't go. I couldn't get past the first season, bro. It's not that I couldn't. I won't. I won't do it. You know what? I, I just cracked it. I just cracked the code, right? He's seen some people talking about dangers in my heart. He might have seen a couple videos on it. And you know what he thought? He was like, this is a perfect opportunity to just shit on the anime. I'm not even going to get to. And you guys know, I this is a personal pet peeve of mine. I say this shit all the time. If you haven't watched the entirety of a show, that ass, that's okay. It is okay not to like it. It's okay to say the show is not for you. But to call it trash? Why do you have that opinion when you haven't even watched the entirety of the show? How do you know if it's trash? You haven't even watched the entirety of the show. Is it for you? Maybe not. That's okay. Not everything is for everybody. But but calling a whole show trash and you can't even get through the first season, bro, it's just not for you, dumbass nigga. It's just not for you. Now, let's make a video saying why the dangers in my heart is not for me. And then this is way better. But calling it trash, this is when we have a problem it man i'm not i'm not going to it, it was torture well i wouldn't wish this upon anyone bro but yet there's some of these idiots that actually like this unironically absolutely pathetic Abs yeah you know what's pathetic getting on the internet and trashing people for their interest because they like romance you're making a whole video trashing people on liking an anime that's a romance it's just a romance there's nothing crazy about what's going on. It's a romance between two characters. Literally, that's what the dangers in my heart is. Literally, like <laughs> if you don't like it, it's okay, bro. I'm going to I'm going to say this a thousand times, but this is it's crazy to me that this is what the anime community does. We get on videos and we talk trash about anime that we haven't even seen. And belittle whole communities for what? What's the purpose? For a couple views? Absolutely pathetic, man. And now the second season's out, and of course all the casuals, the sheep, are coming here to consume and consume again like they always do. I mean, it's disgusting. But this is nothing new. I mean, we've seen this time and time again, or at least the intellectuals have seen this time and time again. So. Yeah, you're, you're not an intellectual. You're not. You know? Let's just get into it. Let's explain why this show is trash. Okay, let's start out with the characters. This is basically a two-character show, guys. You have the main character, the simp, his name's see Ichi i would agree with you but season two came out season two came out and it's not a two-character show anymore but i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you you know talk ikawa 
and then you have the girl who's out of his league, right? Yamada. It's a two-person show. And, and guys, this is the typical shitty simp storyline that we've seen before. This is just like the same simp storyline we've seen in shows like ReZero and Chainsaw Man. I mean, it's nothing special. It's the same garbage storyline, same garbage simp storyline as any other. But what makes it worse here is there was actually a premise about his goal before this series. You want to know what's, you want to know the difference is this is a romance those are, that's an isekai. That's a shonen. Completely different. The whole genre is put together for these two characters to get together. Because it's a romance. Those are different. Those are, We don't never know if Amelia and ReZero are going to get, I mean, and Subaru are going to get together because it's not a romance. So I could see if you were using that point for a show that's not a romance, but that's literally the point of the show just evolved into a generic simp storyline i mean come the fuck on bro they they start this anime off as if like the main character has like these murderous thoughts and he wants to kill this girl in his class and it's like okay if that was actually what the anime was about where ichikawa was trying to plan how to murder the yamada that would have actually been more interesting than this garbage but no the anime basically fucking clickbaits you into thinking that that's what this is going to be about but no it just evolves into the romance comedy garbage that this is and the story the story is horrible the story is just you know it's just these two characters doing slice of life shit i mean shit you can go oh my goodness oh my goodness it's like you just just like you just said what a typical romance is buddy let me break it down to you you just don't like the genre you don't like romance. It's okay. You're literally sitting here complaining about an anime that's doing basic romance stuff. They executed a basic romance story very well with likable characters. You just don't like the story. You just don't like the characters. But other people do. Just because other people do doesn't mean that you have to come on the internet and belittle people for liking anime bro this is crazy this is this is the stuff that loses me in this community bro go outside and do in real life but of course you know these losers who have no social skills have to fantasize about it and live vicariously through these anime characters imagine imagine being like that bro. wow wow so anyone who watches any romance people who people who watch rom-coms on tv they have to live vicariously through the tv characters Anyone who watches action anim action action animes, they can't go out and fight outside. They have to live vicariously through the action anime characters. Oh, that's the point here. Brilliant, just so smart, so brilliant out of you, man, so brilliant. That could never be me. But guys, the story starts off so horribly too. It starts off with Ichikawa, and he guys like the first line in the anime is from Ichikawa. He's like. I'm messed up in the head it, it talking about this murder fantasy and of course it goes nowhere but it's just like how edgy can you be bro who like what is this okay but so so first of all it's one dimensional because it's a classic simp story but now he's too edgy so now the classic simp character is too edgy which one is it bro it's a problem when they're the same but when they're different now it's a problem too okay you just can't win with these niggas but you know, it's, it's kind of a shame, too, because even though it's so cringe, they could have actually done something with that. But they throw that shit out the window shortly after. I mean, and it's it's that ass not thrown out the window. He literally goes through, <laughs> through two seasons of character development, bro. But OK, it just goes into, you know, the, the simp storyline. This fucking simp, this loser. I mean, this just edgelord, bro. I mean, the character design is terrible. He covers like half his face with hair so you can only see one of his eyes i mean everything about this yeah this nigga actually might be dumb this nigga actually might be dumb bro you don't see how that's that's designed like you're literally calling him a edge lord bro that's part of his character bro like he has to he ha he has to develop himself to become a better person this nigga's sitting here thinking about murdering people and he realized that he has a fucking problem so he goes through learning how to be a better person with the help of the other character interests in the show. What is crazy about this? Like you would think <laughs> you would think he would something crazy is going on the way this nigga's talking. This guy just screams edgelord. 
He always wears black, reads like these murder encyclopedias. He, he has terrible social skills, stutters every time he talks to this girl. But somehow, of course, you know, they're going to end up together because that makes sense, which would never happen, by the way. You know, the most popular girl, the most attractive girl in class, apparently is just going to start talking to the loser all of a sudden. And they're going to build a relationship. Yeah, right. But anyways, that's not even the worst part about this anime, but that makes no sense anyway. But there's a fuck ton of plot convenience in this. It's crazy how much plot convenience is in this because, you know. Oh, my goodness. Like there is in every single anime ever. Like it's called a, it's called a, <laughs> it's called a story. <laughs> what there's not gonna be a story without plot convenience unless we're talking about fucking Berserk, the only one in fucking history, buddy. Come on, even Berserk has plot convenience, bro. Come on, like you're just chatting right now. The story needs the simp and the girl to get together. So uh, of course they have to, you know, have these contrived ass scenarios to get them together and build this fake ass relationship, dude. It, it's terrible. It's terrible. The story goes nowhere, essentially, through, through the entire first season. It, it basically becomes like some love is war shit, where it's like they won't even admit they like each other, even though Ichikawa admits to himself that he likes Yamada. But yet, he won't admit it to her in, in the show? So it's like, what the fuck are we doing here, bro? Because, you know, they have to drag out these garbage-ass romance comedies for the losers that actually like this so they can milk them, bro. I mean, you people are blind. Like, you, you guys need to wake the fuck up, man. Because this is disgusting behavior. And they've got you right where they want you. They've got you right where they want you. This industry uh, this has you by the cooking, balls, man. bro. And you, you're, you're too stupid to even fucking this see This boy it. is cooking. He's cooking with some ingredients that I've never heard of before, bro. Wow. Wow. You're cooking crazy, man. I mean, you niggas are something different on this, on this platform here, man. Something mischievous. One Piece has gone on for a thousand something episodes. And you're talking about romance anime milking romance. You 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 would have had a, a million times better point if you came on here and talked about One Piece milking niggas. Nigga, they're a thousand episodes deep with the slowest, slowest pacing ever. And that's not even meant to be a One Piece stray. It's just the truth. Niggas talking about milking people. The industry, the romance has the industry in a chokehold. You sound fucking stupid. Romance is literally one of the most hated genres in the whole anime scene, bro. Because there's niggas like you. <laughs> like, th there's niggas like you. This shit is crazy. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say anymore. This is just, look, this is just a nigga who found something that he wants to shit on. And talk shit about to get some views. Like he's he's not even trying. This nigga got berserk gameplay that's gonna play through the entire video and he's just gonna slander the anime. That's all he's doing, bro. It's very obvious. I mean, I peep it. Get it how you get it. I mean, I respect it. Get it how you get it, man. Guys, I, I could sit here all day and list out like these cringy yeah, we know ass you can, you know, bro. scenarios, but it's just if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking it's about. It's like Niggas talking about cringy ass scenarios in anime, bro. I can go to every single anime that's, I can go down the top 10 in anime and list 15 cringy scenes in each single fucking anime, bro. That is just an anime thing, bro. It, it is what it is. You're an anime fan talking about cringy anime scenes. Like, let's be realistic here. No, bro, you know what I'm talking about. It's terrible. It's terrible. This simp storyline tells me all I need to know about the fan base. Because if you if you like shows like these, you know, like ReZero, Chainsaw Man, you mm -hmm. know, these, these simp mm -hmm. storylines. Yeah. I mean, you're tell a loser. Me you can sit here and try to oh. rationalize it to yourself. Yeah, but I'm just, a loser. just know we do not care. Yeah, huh? We do not care. Yeah, okay? I'm a loser. I'm not here asking you, oh, is this a good anime? Oh, is this a good anime? No, it's not. It's not a good anime. I'm telling you, okay? You people do not have the qualifications to try to justify this. Oh, well, here's why this is actually good. Oh, actually, bro, you missed this. Oh, no, no. Actually, bro, it's about the, the relationship for me. I don't care. I don't care. We do not care. Okay? I mean, I just can't imagine being one of these fat, disgusting neckbeards mm. living in their mother's basement mm. with their only purpose in life being to beat off to this shitty oh, simp storyline. Beating all day. off? Oh, yeah, you lost me, bro. See, and this is how you know you niggas are. This is how I know you niggas are stupid. This is how I know you niggas are stupid, bro. Are we serious? We got fucking gushing over magical girls in the same season. And you're talking about beating off to a fucking romance anime you bro you you gotta stop it bro like you gotta stop it bro come on now i mean like it, it's actually sad bro like that's actually sad i hope you people can get your lives together because this type of behavior mm. is not gonna get you far yeah all right 
Yeah, it's not going to get the us story, nowhere. It's just, like I said, it's just contrived ass shit, bro. You know, mm-hmm. they go shopping, they go on a date, they do this, they Typical do that. Typical romance, it's just, it, man. It's of life shit. It's boring, yeah, bro. It's, yeah. You know what? It sounds like it sounds like you don't like the Donner, brother. And that's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounds like. I mean, that's a. You, you dropped an 11 minute video about an anime. You just don't like the Donner, bro. I could do this for any single Donner that I don't like, bro. This is crazy. You did not cook up nothing here, bro. We need to take your pots and pans. This is sad. It's boring. The pacing's terrible as well. I mean, guys, it's a, it was a chore to get through this, but I wanted to come and expose this because it was so ass. Holy shit. I mean, everything's trash, dude. The story, the characters, the art. Oh I, I bet everything's trash to you, man. I bet. I bet. The art is terrible. It looks like the artist drew this shit while he was, like, having a fucking seizure. Like, the artist has, like, Parkinson. Wow. Now we're insulting the, the people that took their hard-earned time to make this. Now we're insulting the animators. Wow. Yeah, wow. You're you're really cooking, man. Yeah, you, you said, hey, this is you. You're like, ah, I don't know who else to throw punches at. I didn't do punches at the fans 15 times. Uh, who else? Who else? Oh, my God. The animators. The creator. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Which is honestly unfair to people with Parkinson's because I'm sure they could do a better job at making an art style than this ugly ass art style. And the animation, the animation is terrible too. Also, of course, fuck ton of fan service in this show because you know the degenerate losers have to sit here and stroke to Bro, it. Bro, yeah, you are, yeah, you you lost me. There's literally like no fan service in this show. You know, I I've been around, nigga. I I came up on anti anime. I came up on high school high school dxd i came up on that i came up on high school of the dead i boy i know about those this show got no fucking fan service literally literally slim to none bro so the fact that you just said that like you you're, you're speaking in volumes here I mean, it's disgusting. And let me remind you guys, mm. this show takes place in a junior high setting. So this is like, this is middle school, right? These are kids. Mm. And yet, you know, of course they have this fan service where yeah. Yamada, you know, she yeah. always finds some way to have her titties in each yeah, college face. And there's yeah. like a boner joke every episode. It's fucking retarded, dude. I mean, if you like this, you should be ashamed of yourself. But of course these fat fucking pigs don't care as long as they can continue to fit in with the other sheep sucking off this show. It's pathetic, bro. Mm. I mean, guys, I could sit here for so long and list off these cringe moments, but that would take forever. So let me give you a few in this story, right? Yeah, let me tell yeah. you a couple here. When Ichikawa sees Yamada getting hit on in class, like some guy's trying to get her number, he just yells. Like in the middle of class, he just yells. It's so fucking cringe, bro. The same thing happens in another situation where, you know, the same guy is like trying to get her number, but it's in a different environment. So Ichikawa has like a bike at this time and he just like launches his bike past them and it like flies into this river to, to distract this guy from not getting Yamada's number. I mean, who would do this? I mean, it's just cringe shit like that throughout this whole series, bro. It's dumb shit like that or it's just him stalking Yamada. I mean, he, he like half the show, he just fucking stares at her behind a bookshelf. It's fucking weird. It's edgy, it's cringy, it's garbage. I mean, they literally reference fucking One Piece Attack on Titan and ReZero, which is fitting, you know, because it's this simp storyline, but they reference these garbage anime, and it's just hilarious because this anime- Yeah, he just called Attack on Titan and One Piece garbage. Hey, y'all gotta get this nigga, bro. I don't got nothing more to say. I dead ass don't got nothing more to say, but I'm gonna hear him out. It's the least I can do. Let a garbage nigga talk. It's the least you can do, bro. It's garbage let itself. Him and like I said, by the end of the first season, right, it's not even established that Ichikawa and Yamada actually have, like, they're dating. It's like love is war. They have to drag it out for these retards that are locked into this show because their IQs are too low to realize that this isn't a good anime. It's just crazy, man. And before you losers start typing away in the comments trying to rationalize this to me, <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious, bro. These guys keep coming to my videos. They write these college-length essays. They write. I mean, hey, bro, I... I dead ass, I dead ass post videos talking shit just like you are about niggas that have no idea what they're talking about, right? People are going to agree and disagree with you, dead ass, dead ass. But if you're getting several niggas disagreeing with you 24-7, I think, hey, I think you need to look in the mirror, <laughs> dead ass. If niggas were under my videos... 24 7 writing college level essays about why i'm wrong I, w I would be like okay maybe i just had a bad opinion here but i think the problem is you have no self-awareness you don't even realize the dumb shit you're saying
you're just yapping. I think you're just trying to rage bait people and you're surprised when they come under your comment with rage. <laughs> like you're you're literally rage baiting. Well, why are you surprised? These novels to me, basically, these fucking books trying to tell me all, about all these anime I expose and how they're actually good. Uh, let me just tell you, first of all, you're writing these paragraphs, bro. No one is reading that, okay? No one is reading that. But also, we do not care, okay? We do not care, okay? Discuss, is this a good anime, man? Is it as bad as I'm saying? No, I'm not asking you. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, he's I'm telling you because his opinion is definite. His opinion is the answer. This guy's opinion is the standard. If he thinks it's ass, it's not a conversation. It's a statement. That's what he's telling y'all, dumb niggas. That's what he's telling y'all. I'm telling you this is trash, okay? This is not subjective. This is objective. This is objectively a bad anime like all these other Yeah, garbage. like this is objectively a horrible video. <laughs> like, dead ass. I'm exposing, okay? So you can sit here and, you know, be a keyboard warrior trying to tell me. and you know, oh, I'm look. not going to be a keyboard warrior. warrior. I'm going to be a voice warrior. I'm, I'm going to milk the fuck out this video, boy. Actually, dude, you're wrong. You're wrong, bro. This is a good anime. No, you're a fucking idiot. You're a crybaby little bitch. And so hmm. you can go ahead and cry in the comments, but just know that we do not care. <laughs> it, I mean, it's just who, funny. How who is we? You keep on saying we do not care. Who is we? Who is we? The, the, the high IQ individuals that got two brain cells like you? Is that we? Anyone identifying as we, <laughs> hey, y'all niggas need some help, bro. This, if this is your leader, you need some help, bro. This nigga needs some Jesus Christ in his life. Holy moly. How delusional you people are. You claim not to like me, right? But you keep coming back to the videos. You keep coming back. You keep coming back. Hey, I'm you can check my log. This is my first time I ever watched this nigga video. And best believe, I'll probably watch it again if it gets some good views. That ass, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. Cracks and you keep coming back. <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious, bro. You people are delusional, man. Fans of this anime and animes like these are everything wrong with this industry. Mm. I mean, yeah, yeah, we... not not Studio Mappa forcing their employees to work on no money and slaving them to do work. Not Studio Mappa. That's not the problem with the industry. It's the romance people watching sim stories. That's the problem. Brilliant. Brilliant. We we need to get you a job somewhere. Your IQ is so high. Your IQ is so high. Why are you making YouTube videos? You are too smart to be doing this. You need to be working on a fucking a fucking a rocket ship. Get us to Mars or something, bro. Your IQ is just so goddamn fucking high. It's so high. Why are you doing this? Why? Why are you watching anime? That not now that's now I'm confused. Why why are you here? You know, for, for a high IQ individual like yourself, you should not be indulging yourself in this in this media. You need to be reading books. Dead ass. I'm I'm for a high I high IQ individual like yourself, what what are we doing? We are having a a, a simp storyline, a generic simp storyline that we've seen in other garbage before, right? But it's top of trending? What is wrong with you people, bro? I mean, so in anyways, man, you know, you losers can sit here and continue to suck this show off and stroke yourself while watching it and acting like this is actually like a good rom-com anime when it's not. But just know at the end of it's, the day, it's not even a rom-com. It's just a romedy. It's just a, uh, <laughs> I said a romedy, a romance. It's just, it's just a random, it's just a, a regular romance, buddy. This is why you're a low IQ knuckle walking ape and mm. your taste in anime is shit. I mean, get it together, people. I, I mean, just do better, please. I mean, this behavior is not healthy. I mean, how can you people be comfortable with yourselves hyping up garbage like this? It's disgusting. Mm. It's abominable behavior. And I, I just hope you people can do better. I mean, get counseling, like get get a job or I mean, do something productive other than watching this. Wow, slot. Like like this video, like this productive video that you just made. OK, Stop. please, man. I mean, absolutely absolutely pathetic if you like this anime you're a fucking loser wow great video out of you man fantastic video out of you man hey i don't got nothing to say great video out of you man